cares about privacy, then you need to watch this video. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how can you track and monitor your personal information that might get exposed to the internet. See, websites like True People Search can sometimes gather information about you. And this information might be like your email address, your physical home address, social security number, phone number, etc. Now the question is how this information get exposed to the internet. See, Google or any other search engine use what's called spiders. And these spiders scan the internet, scan websites and follow links and index content to appear on search results. So what I'm going to show you in this video is a free tool by Google that will notify you as soon as your information gets released or get published on search results. This way you can act earlier and remove your information before it gets spread more and more. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is to go to google.com slash alerts, and then you need to create a Google dork that will notify you as soon as a certain search result has been appeared. So let's say that you are trying to protect yourself and protect your information. One of the most popular and most important search operators that you can use is for example, your name. And then you can add the cities, for example, New York, or the place of work. So let's say that you are working at Facebook and then you can add, for example, here, anything else. So I can say show options and then I can change this to as it happens. So it will notify me as soon as this happens. And the source is always, or has to be always automatic like this language. We can leave it like this. And the region could be also any region. And here I like to select all results. So I don't only want to see or get notified when my information are in the best search results. And then I can say deliver to, and then my email address. So I can change it if I want to. Now the question is what search operators we can use because there are actually multiple or hundreds of search operators that you can use to get notified when a certain information about you is out there. So you can add your phone number, you can add your email address. So let's say that you wanna get notified if your email address got released. So I can say contact, for example, at cybersudo.org, like this. Or I can say, for example, or notify me when my phone number is, for example, online. So I can add my phone number. I can add also another format of the phone number. So it could be plus four nine instead of this one. Then I can say or, and then I can say zero zero four nine, etc. So you just need to add your information and then you'll get notified and don't forget the or operator. In addition to all of this, what I really want to show you is this wonderful article by Arno and it has been published on Medium and I'm going to add the link to the description of this video and this talks about the search operators that you can use to find whether your information, your sensitive information are on Google. So let's say that you are searching for any confidential information. So you can add your name and copy this one. So it's going to search for these keywords on Google and then your name. And if you want to search, for example, to for your email addresses, then you can copy this search operator and add it to Google. So I'm going to say like this just copy it and paste it and then change the name to Saad Saraj like this and then say for example create and this will create the search operator under my alerts I can come back and then you can read all the search operators and copy or use the ones that are important to you, for example, like this one. I think this is what, this one is very important because it's gonna search for your name and the keyword social security number or address or phone number in a PDF or doc or TXT file that might get indexed in Google in the future. So I think that all of these search operators are very important and you can use all of them and replace your name and then add them to your Google alert. And once your information gets released to the internet, you'll immediately get notified and therefore 
try and contact Google to remove the search results or contact the website owner, etc. So this is a very important thing to keep your information private. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel because this will help me grow the channel and make more awesome content. So with that being said, I'll see you soon.